Wisdom is in the heart, not in the brain, not in the mind. And that the heart is where intuition is. And when we don't follow it or, or pay attention to it, in the context of the bigger picture, and the mind takes over, many times that then becomes learning through pain and suffering rather than learning through love and uh, peak experiences or creative flow. We're looking at the concept of using these new paradigm platforms like Second Life as a way of accelerating something that might take months or years to do in a traditional learning context by the virtues of immersion, interaction, and visualization and the knowledge of the feminine principle and nature, the oceans, life, animals, plants, all under Mother Nature's protection. Uh, and unfortunately suffering right now uh, with the male principle running amok with technology and politics and military adventurism is a prime example and Wall Street is another of all of the systems and or belief systems that were put out there uh, being subject to corruption and really falling apart at the seams and to use the Mayan teachings as one example they predict that in 2012 in December that all of this, literally what we're seeing, volcanoes, tsunamis, uh, these institutions crumbling and coming down, that this is part of the re-emergence of the goddess principle. So there are these literally universal things in terms of the whole solar system going below the uh, equator of the Milky Way galaxy, which has its own outcomes from an astronomical point of view and the planet itself potentially having an axis shift in terms of its magnetic charge um, society going through its changes globally and then getting down to uh, a hermetic teachings from, from the Egyptian Book of the Dead as above so below so that we as individuals are going through the same changes and Part of the goddess principle teachings is that as we go through um, the center of the Milky Way most intently or intensely in the next 18 months or so and the part of space that we're traveling through as a solar system will enhance the point that it turns on DNA that is asleep in, in our uh, bodies at this point. So what we've done collaboratively by looking at all of these teachings and this platform is put a series of workshops together to take someone who's done some of the research, has an interest, wants to access their own internal power from a starting point to a point of, of mastery. Um, in, instead of what would normally take years, potentially doing it in a series of uh, five or six workshops. I guess not about guru, not about religion, not about some uh, Eastern uh, spiritual practice that has complicated words and terms that, uh, that really aren't easily understood. It's really about... Uh, <laughs> Cherry picking, if I can use that term, the, the knowledge that makes the most uh, sense on a personalized basis to work through energy, breathing, clearing imprints from the past, opening the heart, throat genital chakra, tail of the spine chakra, all of the chakras getting getting balanced in a way where your day-to-day -day life feels better.
you wake up feeling better. You go to work or meetings uh, with a different kind of grounding. And some people, they're literally their, their um, posture changes, the way they walk changes, the look in, in, in their eyes and their face changes because they've gotten, maybe for the first time in their life, back in touch with their authentic selves in a way that just feels so comfortable and so um, rewarding that it, it, this persistent state of ecstasy or bliss starts to happen.